Hi, I'm Will with Brown Dog Gadgets, and today we're going to make a solar cockroach. The first thing we're going to do is peel the plastic off of our solar panel. Next, flip your panel over, and you'll see that there are two sets of soldering points on the bottom. Remove the white backing from your motor, and place it on your solar panel so that the wires connect with two of the leads. It doesn't matter which set you use, as long as you make sure they're on different sides of the solar panel. For the next step, it is helpful to bend both wires into an arch. This will help them keep contact with the leads when you begin to solder. When soldering, it's important to remember a few basic safety tips. Both your soldering iron and your project will become very hot. Be careful to avoid burning yourself or starting a fire. It's also a good idea to wear eye protection, as solder can sometimes spatter. Finally, make sure you're working in a well-ventilated area as solder produces toxic fumes. Now that your motor is firmly attached to your solar panel, it's time to give your cockroach some legs. Using your wire cutters, cut apart both paper clips at the narrow end. You should wind up with two large pieces and two smaller pieces that look about like this. Each piece will become two legs of our cockroach, so snip off the extra length to make each leg even. This is another good place to use your safety glasses, as small pieces can go flying. I have found that the easiest way to attach the legs to the body of your cockroach is to put a blob of hot glue on the solar panel, then push in two sets of legs and wait for the glue to cool. Now that the first two sets of legs can stand on their own, get the third set of legs and push it into the glue. If your glue is still warm, you'll be able to get the legs to stand on their own, but you'll definitely want to reinforce them with some extra hot glue. Once your glue has completely hardened, expand the legs on your cockroach. Some people may find this easier to do before they begin their initial gluing. Finally, I added some extra glue just to make sure my legs were on nice and tight. At this point, you have a working solar cockroach, but he's much more interesting if you give him some features. First, take the thin wire and fold it in half to make your antenna. Place the bent part of your wire in the front middle of your cockroach and use a drop of hot glue to secure it. Now it's time to place our googly eyes. Take the backing off and press the googly eye against the front of your solar panel next to the antenna. This isn't a lot of surface area, so use some hot glue to make sure the eye stays in place. Once the hot glue is all cooled off, we're finished! It's time to take our cockroaches outside to play in the sun, or make more cockroaches for a cockroach army.